unfortunately the last uh, recording of this didn't record the sound, so I gotta re-record it. A bit frustrating, but I'll have to deal with it. Anyway, this one isn't gonna be as long as the previous recording, but uh, basically I'm doing a review of Danny Phantom Glitch in Time. So, yeah. So, I just want to say, this is a really good book. It feels like I'm actually watching this show. And, uh, I even imagined the characters' voices in my head when I was reading it. So, in the previous recording, I was reading through the comic. But I think I can mostly memorize most of it. But, um, basically, um, it starts with, like, Danny in, like, um, in, like, a snow place and stuff. And then it j basically jumps into, like, um... Him and Sam and Dan Tucker um, being transported through, like, different points in time, which definitely feels like something that would be in the show. And, uh, basically, Danny's powers are, like, shorting out, and they're not working. And, um, basically, um, he realizes that he needs to talk to Clockwork because he thinks the time glitches are what's causing his power shorting out. Power shorting out. And, basically... Before he can go to the ghost zone to talk to Clockwork, Vlad comes through the portal begging for forgiveness, and basically, Danny doesn't trust him because of all the past bad deeds he's done, obviously, which, you know, is expected. Vlad tells Danny that he tried to ask uh, Clockwork for a second chance. He wouldn't give him one, and he knocked over the thermos containing Dark Danny. Yes, this story does bring back Dark Danny. Dark Danny gets set free. Basically, Dark Danny fuses with clockwork. Clockwork. It definitely feels like a, a plot of, of the show that you would see in Danny Phantom. It turns out, Dark Danny, long story short, Danny goes to the ghost zone with the Infimap and, you know, he decides that he wants to uh, help ghosts instead of hunt them. And then he finds out Dark Danny's in Amity Park, Amity Park. He basically tricks them into thinking that he's Danny gone rogue and he's Danny gone evil because they don't remember Dark Danny. He also tricks Valerie into thinking it's the real Danny gone rogue. And Valerie now thinks that it's the real Danny gone evil. And at the end, Vlad basically has a redemption arc and, well, he, he joins Team Phantom to, to, you know, help save the world, obviously. And he, he has a change of heart. And Danny finally realizes this, and then Vlad has a redemption arc, which, believe it or not, is the first time Danny Phantom has ever tackled redeeming a character. They've never done that. They've, they've gotten close with, like, the ghost, ghost helping them, helping him and stuff, but they've never had a true redemption for a character, for an evil character, like a true redemption, like full-on nice. So, that is interesting that they're pulling, like, a My Little Pony Friendship is Magic thing. And, um, Vlad, uh, has a redemption arc and realizes he needs to have a change of heart. Dark Danny is, the reason he's doing what he's doing is because he was inflicted pain in his alternate timeline. And he still has that pain with him. Even though he separated his human emotions from himself, obviously that, that, some of that human emotion left from his previous self is, that he killed, is still lingering within him just a little bit. And he still has it, and, and it's basically bottled up, and it's basically coming out now. So part of his human self still lingered within him, and he basically uh, cries and is jealous of the new Danny, wondering why he lost everything and Danny didn't, good Danny didn't, and he's basically jealous of the Danny that replaced him. He's just alone. He doesn't want to be alone, and which is something that they might do for a Danny Phantom episode, you know, it feels like it, it really, truly feels like I'm watching, like I'm reading Danny Phantom, like I'm reading an episode of Danny Phantom or a special, one hour special, you know, Danny doesn't want to put him in the thermos because he realizes that Danny is, a, is him, you know, I, I'm pretty sure that's why, Danny is him, even though he's him from an altered timeline, you know, he realizes that, you know, he suffered. And that's why he's doing what he's doing. And Danny, Dark Danny, does not want to be put in back on the thermos again because he doesn't want to be alone. So Vlad decides to take action and decides to fuse, well, not fuse, but, like, let Dark Danny become one with his body so that he won't be erased from existence. Yeah, he was being, like, erased from existence because he's not supposed to be in this timeline. He's not supposed to exist because he, before he was only existing because he was existing outside of time. 
because Clockwork's place is outside of time. It's not in any time. So now that he's actually in a time, he's not supposed to exist, and he's and the universe is trying to erase him from existence because his timeline no longer exists. So he doesn't want to be alone. He doesn't want to be erased. So Vlad decides to let him become into his body. It turns out because Dark Danny came into the normal timeline when he wasn't supposed to be there, he messed up the time stream. Basically, Clockwork stops time and he realizes the timeline cannot be restored back to the way it was normally. So he gives Danny a choice. He can only fix the timeline to a certain extent. He can either A, keep the timeline the way it was, or or timeline the way it was and Danny loses his powers forever. Can't get him back no matter what. Or B, the timeline where Danny keeps his powers, but everyone goes back to forgetting who he is. And that's the timeline Danny chooses because he wants to help ghosts. And he wants to be the bridge between the ghost zone and the human world. Which honestly is pretty heartbreaking because it means that his parents are going to hunt him again. So it's kind of unfortunate because it was really heartwarming to see them finally accept their son and, you know, see that he was Danny Phantom. So it's going to be a little heartbreaking to see them try to hunt him again, you know. I mean, kind of, it's going to kind of like hurt, you know. Because, you know, you finally got to see family know who their son is, and now they're not going to know anymore. So that's kind of bad. So anyway, um, what I think is they... So basically, my general thoughts of this book, what I think they were doing is I think Gabriel Epstein was making this as a... As like... Because he, she pitched this to Nickelodeon, obviously. And they told her that they were interested in turning this into a movie but on one condition. They told her that they, she could go ahead and make this book, and if it sells well, they will turn this into a movie. And she agreed. She accepted. So I think that she made this book, pitched it to Nickelodeon, and they told her that they would make it into a movie on one condition if it sells well. So they are testing the waters with this book to see if they can turn it into a full-length movie. So... I have one thing to say to all you Danny Phantom fans. If you are a fan of Danny Phantom and want to watch, want to know what happens next, buy this book. Let Nickelodeon know that you want to see this turn into a movie because this is my theory that they are making this to turn it into a movie. And they want to test and see how much this sells. It probably has sold a lot, but it needs to sell even more. So. If you know anyone who's fans of Danny Phantom, or know anyone who wants to check out Danny Phantom, tell them to watch this series, watch the Danny Phantom series on Paramount Plus or any kind of cartoon watching website that you can find, like WCOStream.com or Kiss Cartoon or Kim Cartoon. Tell them to watch the series, buy this book. I do not recommend piracy. I recommend supporting the publisher because this will let Nickelodeon know that you, as the fans, want more Danny Phantom. And they will turn this into a full movie. And I like how they actually set up a season 4 at the end by reverting everything back to normal. So they actually set up new seasons. That's why I think they are testing the waters. And they are not going to make another book. Because I don't think they're going to make another book. Because what I think is that they are actually making this book to test the waters for a movie. And they are going to see how much it sells and if it sells well then they will turn it into a movie so i'm gonna request everything one thing of all of you i'm gonna put it in the description i'm gonna start a hashtag hopefully it starts trending fingers crossed but hashtag glitch in time movie let's start this trending tag let's see if it trends and make sure you ping nickelodeon nickelodeon america or you know but don't don't spam them just do it once and at Nintendo, or not Nintendo, Nickelodeon, at Nickelodeon USA, hashtag Glitch in Time Movie, and also hashtag Danny Phantom Season 4. Let's get this started. I'm going to put it in the description of the video, and let's see if it works. Put it on X slash Twitter. Let's see if it works, okay? This is a good book. And I truly do think that for the 20th anniversary of Danny Phantom, they're planning something huge. Potentially a Golden Time movie. So let's see. 
Hashtag Glitch in Time Movie. Hashtag Gay Phantom Season 4. Both those hashtags. Let's get them trending. Alright. Talk to you guys later. Brandon Barney Barney out.